Hey everyone, we are live at 5. What's up? It's Tuesday, November 27th. I'm Paul Wontor. And I'm Beth Stevens. And over there is Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. How are you doing, Caitlin? I'm great. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> uh, and hey, Beth. Who's our guest today? We're making the season bright. It's a Broadway fave. Yes. yes. Matt Doyle yes. is here. <laughs> he is bringing his uh, Christmas cheer back to Feinstein's slash 54 Below. I love that. This has become a thing now. It's a thing. So we're going to talk to him about that. But first, today's top five. This hit musical is finally coming to the U.S. from across the pond. It was in the U.S. It went to the National Theater in London. Now it's coming back. We're talking about Hades Town. It's not that complicated. It's it was off Broadway. Now it's in London. Correct. It's at the National <laughs> Theater in London. Hades Town's coming to Broadway. They've announced they're going to the Walter Kerr Theater, where Bruce Springsteen is currently rocking out. Uh, previews begin on March 22nd. Opening night is set for April 17th. No official casting, but let me tell you who's in it in London. Oh, they haven't confirmed the cast. They haven't. By the way, this is by Anais, um, Anna, Anna, Anais Mitchell. Uh, Anais? Anais. Yeah, that. You took French. Very French. And Tony nominee Rachel Chavkin is the director. Here's who's in it. Patrick Page is Hades. Amber Gray is Persephone. By the way, they were both in it off-Broadway. They were. In 2016. And they At, both got uh, Lurtel nominations. I think that's correct. That's right. And Eva Noblezada is Eurydice. And Andre de Shields is... Uh, Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> By the and way, I was in the car the other day. Love Andre Dishel. And on the Broadway station on Sirius XM, which I was listening to. Hi, Julie James. Go on. Um, Big Black Man From came Full on. From Full Monty. I knew you were going to say like, that. like, so good. The Full Where's Monty. That? Where's that reunion concert? Are we doing that? Patrick Wilson, we have to talk. Um, I, but I don't want to leave out Reeve Carney is playing oh. Orpheus. So that is the Broadway uh, announcement. So we don't know who's coming. We don't know who's coming, but Hades Town will be here. Fun fact. Oh, there's a fun fact. In London, yes. where it's currently playing, they don't play every week. Correct. It's playing in <laughs> rep with Antony and Cleopatra starring Ray Fiennes. Why do we know and that? And Sophia Canedo. Because we wanted to see it. We were supposed to go to London and we changed the trip so we could see Hades Town. That's correct. That's why. We're, we didn't realize. We're, we're like that. that. So yeah. like, I guess they go to like Mykonos on their day, the week and a half <laughs> off. That's right. Reeve Carney goes to Mykonos Have while fun, Ray Have fun, Reeve Carney. Have right. fun. <laughs> Mykonos. Why Mykonos? It's all right. We'll come later. And a new star has been named to join this upcoming sequel. So this is going to be a fun show, right? Well, it's got the best people in it. Okay, it mm -hmm. really does, and it just gets better. So this is Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus. That's the full title, correct? That's the full title. That's a Shakespeare play. I don't know it Gary, very well. I don't know my Shakespeare, Titus but I, Andronicus I, I have seen it. It's, it was a, it's a long, meaty drama, right? Yep. And this is a comedy. Very bloody. Mm -hmm. And so we already knew, of course, that... Tony Winters, Nathan Lane, and Andrea Martin will be in this, which it's going to be funny. And Taylor <laughs> Mack is the writer, who Correct. is a very acclaimed uh, performer slash writer. Um, a, an Olivier, no, no, not Olivier. What's it called? What's what called? No, he's a, 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 a isn't he a um, reading huh? something right now? Pulitzer finalist? Oh, Pulitzer. Yeah, That's okay. the fancy thing. Olivier's I was, not British. Olivier Pulitzer. Pulitzer yeah. Um, okay. Anyway, so. I'm burying the lead. Christine yes, Nielsen has joined the cast, and Christine Nielsen is hilarious. She was a Tony nominee for Vanya, Sonya, Masha, Spike. Um, do you have to say it? She, you have to. <laughs> she was in Present Laughter, You Can't Take It With You, Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson. Oh, I forgot she was in that. Spring mm -hmm. Awakening. You know who else was in Spring Awakening? Today's guest, Matt Doyle. Thank and you for pulling that bird. together. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, and George Wolf is directing it, so Beth and I are going to love it. We it's love kind George of automatic Wolf. when he's directing. And it's set during the fall of the Roman Empire, the year of bloody battles are over, and two very lowly servants, Lane and Martin, have to clean up all the dead bodies. So it's going to be fun. So fun, a little dark. A little <laughs> Starts dark. Starts <laughs> March 5th at the Booth Theater. And two stage favorites are joining this upcoming play revival. Oh, we're talking about Burn This, which will be going ah, to the Hudson Theater love this, this spring. Part. Very good uh, play by Lanford Wilson. Brandon Uranowitz and David Furr have joined the cast. Previously announced Carrie Russell and Adam Driver are going to be in the Joan Allen and John Malkovich roles for you old people like us. Uh, Brandon is my watch friend. My, watch my Joan Allen show people interviews. Yes. Watch me fanboy out. I almost said fangirl. Go ahead. You almost said fangirl. <laughs> no. Uh, so anyway, they're, they're, obviously you know them. Uh, Brandon's in the band's visit right now. David Furr has done a million things. He got a Tony nomination for Noises Off. Very funny in mm -hmm. that. Uh, previews began March 15th, and it will open on April 16th. Yes, you have fun a fact. Oh, we have fun facts Lula today. Vitar, who, who played Larry, which Brandon Uranowitz's role. role. So Brandon plays the gay roommate. He's the gay roommate. He's an ad man. He's got all the funny lines. 
he has a lot of funny lines. And David lines. Furr plays the part of the love Boy, triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but Lou Libertor, who originated the role, I believe got a Tony nomination. Yes. I can't confirm or deny. Yes. Um, he is currently off Broadway. He's back in uh, Daniel's Husband. So I want to give Look a little shout out that. to Lou Libertor. Very good. Very yeah, good. I'm just saying. You read those Playbill bios. I love it. And Rita Moreno is returning to her The Beautiful, Wonderful Story. Well, this was a surprise. <laughs> it, yeah. S a surprise. This is um, a surprise. Rita Moreno, What's Rita Moreno doing? will be in a movie <gasps> of West Side Story. Now, that, as a statement, does not sound surprising because she already was, and mm -hmm. she won an Oscar, of for course, Anita. for playing Anita. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you for the accent. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to give you a little... Now That's she's a fun fact, Valentina. that's Paul's accent. <laughs> so... Valentina, not to be confused with Valentina, who is in Rent Live from Drag. Nope, different. No. Valentina is a new character. This is the Steven Spielberg, Tony Kushner remake of West Side Story, mm -hmm. which is so crazy that it's happening, but it really is. Um, so she apparently, Valentina, is a reworked version mm -hmm. of Doc. I did not see that coming. Did you see that coming? <laughs> Matt Doyle did not see that Matt coming. Matt Doyle, who, by the way, uh, is has a beautiful voice and he loves That's to true. sing the music of West Side Story and he was a fantastic Tony at Paper Mill Playhouse is shocked but it's true <laughs> his, Doc his is now is Valentina um, which played is by Rita Moreno yeah played by Rita Moreno so this is very interesting of course Doc and Anita have such a great moment in the original anyway just this is it, it's crazy and Ansel Elgort will play the role of Tony and that's all we know so far we well, don't no, know we know other things like tell, this. tell us more no, there's other things. There's other but stuff anyway, we know. Mm -hmm. The news is just going to keep rolling in because, believe it or not, this is really happening. A new That's like a story. blessing to have Rita Moreno on the set. Yes. Oh, it's my a, God. It's like magic Love fairy Rita dust. Moreno. She's fantastic. Yeah. And we have a sneak peek of what the boss has been doing on Broadway. I was so excited to see this trailer for kind of Springsteen. <laughs> so we can so, finally see the show. <laughs> exactly. Springsteen on Broadway, which is just around the corner for us at the Walter Kerr right now, mm -hmm. is going to be on Netflix, and the trailer has been released. We have not been invited. That's not true. I was invited. But I, I wasn't invited. I'm sorry. Bruce, if you want to invite me, we saw I'm available. Yeah, we fun. saw him on the Tonys. He yeah. won a Tony Award an honor for his, uh, for his show. Anyway, uh, it will arrive on Netflix December 15th, and then we can all see him tell Wait, his stories. that's really soon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really soon. We can all see him tell his stories, sing his songs, talk about New Jersey. close-ups, like, Close-ups of him and Patty and the whole game. And you can, like, take bathroom breaks and, like, you can pause him, correct? You can rewind. It'll be great. A lot of options on Netflix. It's different. <laughs> I've only seen him drive by in the SUV. That's all I've seen. <laughs> I walk by that theater every day on the way home, and yeah. I just see all the like Springsteen fanatics like waiting for a glimpse of him. And right. I don't know like how much he interacts with them. I think he, you know, signed something. Anyway, and they sell merch. We walk by the merch. There's merch. Counter. There is anyway, merch. Thank you, Beth. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you for you. being here. Um, it's Matt Doyle's turn at your seat. So, hey, Caitlin, why don't you tell everybody, they already know, but tell them all about Mr. Matt Doyle. Of course. Yes, we have Matt Doyle in the studio with us today. He's here to talk about his upcoming holiday concert at Feinstein's 54 Below. He recently concluded his run starring in the Broadway bound Huey Lewis and the News musical, Ooh. The Heart of Rock and Roll. He's previously appeared on Broadway in The Book of Mormon, Spring Awakening, War Horse, and Bye Bye Birdie. His off-Broadway credits include The Clockwork Orange, Sweeney Todd, and Jasper and Deadland. He is also the co-creator of uh, the popular comic book, comic strip, Dense. What can't this guy do? I don't know. He can do it all. Follow him on social media at Matt F. Doyle and leave all of your questions in the comments down below. Please welcome Matt and Paul. Oh Hello, my Mr. God, Matt what an intro. Thank do you, you like so hearing much. your credits well, laid out nice. like that? Yeah, you know, it makes it me sound important. I, <laughs> I'm people, like, well. I have this experience when people sit here, they don't usually hear their bios ever, read to them. Ever, ever. Right. And I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Oh, well, that's good. Fun <laughs> stuff. Fun stuff. It's good. It's good. That's why people like you. Plus, you are a fantastic singer. Oh, thank you. That's so um, nice. Oh my gosh. And you gosh. do like the West Side Story. I um, love West Side yeah. Story. And I try not to be, you know, like in general, I'm not a purist about revivals. Like yeah. I'm always like, yeah, mix it up, make it different, like go but for it. Are you it. nervous about Valentina? I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't mean to be. I know that's so terrible. Right. And like, I'm really trying to like stay open minded because I hate people who are like, no, don't touch it. Don't change anything. And right. I know West Side, like a lot of people are like, let's finally update it. Yeah. But, um, or change it or yeah. like revise it. I think it's perfect. So it perfect. yeah, so I'm movie. I'm nervous, but I'm trying to stay open minded. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, why not? Yeah, you know, my, my favorite thing about West Side Story is I grew up with that movie. Yeah, but I always saw it on a TV. Right? Yeah, 
And when I came to New York, it was playing at a movie theater. And I was like, oh, I want to see it in a movie theater. Yeah. And suddenly, there were actors I never saw in it before because they were off, like Graziella, oh, like fully. all the shark girls yeah. <laughs> and jet girls. They were always in the part that was cropped yes. on the TV. Yeah. So uh, so for me, that was like a reboot. Some of those extras in that gym scene, oh my God. Go back and watch it now and just watch what they're doing. Some of them are amazing. I have like screen capped all of it. I, I'm a big fan of the original film. So yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a good one. Uh, Mr. Matt Doyle, I don't yeah. know why I keep, keep adding the Mr. Uh, you are making the season bright. I am. This is your thing. Yeah. Uh, you are, how many Christmas shows have you done now? I guess this is my fourth. Okay, yeah. is it your fourth? Yeah, maybe okay. I'm wrong. Maybe it's my third, but I think it's my fourth. This is December 10th. Yes. Uh, at 7, 7 p.m. PM. Doors open at 5. Oh. You can get a burger or whatever. Very nice, yeah. Um, good food there, too. Yes. But, uh, so tell, tell me about this. And you, you recorded, uh, Make the Season Bright is also your Christmas album. Yeah. Yeah. Which everyone should get. It's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, so what are we in, what are we in for here? Um, it, we've done, so the Christmas album itself is kind of like a bluesy, uh, contemporary up, update of a lot of Christmas songs. With your band. Yes, the Whiskey Five. Love that um, band. and it's all co-written and arranged by, uh, Will Van Dyke, who is like one of my dearest friends and he's the music supervisor of Pretty Woman right yeah. now. Yes, that's yeah. right. Yep. Um, and he's incredible, and it's such a fun night. It's really silly and laid back. We don't take it too seriously because it's Christmas music. You know, mm -hmm. you just we're there to have fun right. and have a good time. And I love Fifty Four Below. The staff there, I, they're just wonderful, wonderful people. So yeah. I'm always so excited to go back every year because yeah. it's it's kind of like I want you to come in like ugly Christmas sweaters. Yeah, I know and you I always want, say yeah. that. Do you wear like, ugly? I do. Okay. I like I find a new out? one every every year. Like okay. usually, like hunt it down at Kmart or. Did, I just saw a bunch of Marshalls. I was at Marshalls over Marshalls the weekend, has a good and they selection. have a whole rack of them. Oh yeah, last last year I had a pugly Christmas sweater. It was a nice. pug um, over cookies, and it was amazing, and it nice. lit up. Um, <laughs> so like that, you know, I want it to be like tacky and wonderful and ring in the new year with also like really great arrangements by Will Van Dyke on some of these songs. So. And amazing yeah. guest star. I uh, know we have Bonnie Milligan. Okay, the so first of all, Bonnie didn't Milligan. you just sing with Bonnie Milligan I last did last night? night. Oh my God, She was guys, at Birdland. She was at Birdland last night and her show was so phenomenal. I don't know if there's like clips hanging around out there, but she did a cover of Dance with Somebody by uh -huh. Whitney Houston that like I was freaking out. It was like this beautiful ballad and she was like... It was heart wrenching and gorgeous, and she sang her face off as she always does. Um, but I love her. She's in Head Over Heels, everyone. Which, by the way, I'm campaigning for her Tony nomination this year. I don't Tony, care. Tony if it's campaign. Closing. Tony campaign manager. Yes. Yes. How'd you become friends with her? We did Jasper and Deadland years ah. ago off Broadway. Yeah, I yeah. interviewed with I you back then. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she, I, I will never forget. I think this was talked about on uh, something else here at Broadway.com, mm -hmm. but. It was like day one of rehearsal, and Bonnie was walking around and going, oh, I think somebody stepped in dog mess. Oh, that was I think, from Jasper yeah. and Deadland? Yes. It's I on think, Side by Side by Susan Blackwell. I think someone stepped in dog mess, and she's like talking about how bad it smells, and, and she's like, everybody check your feet. And all of a sudden I hear, it's me! <laughs> <laughs> and she like lifts her shoe up. And I just I like pointed at her and I was like we're gonna be dear. dear That's friends. amazing. Yeah. So so you sing at each other's shows. Yes. It's something you yeah. do when you have, when you have do. talented friends. You like share the talent. So she's gonna be at my show uh, where we've got a couple duets together. Uh, Katie Rose Clark, who is just <gasps> in The Heart of Rock and Roll, the who, Huey Lewis which I musical. saw everyone. I've already talked about how much I loved it. I saw it at the Old Globe Theater. Fantastic. I, it I can't Aww. wait. I hope this show. I hope we get I to see too. it. I do too. I do too. We're still I working on yes, it. Yes, we're still working yep. on it. All looks Huey good and positive. But you know, like we'll see. But I, I feel really good. I think. It's, and you and Katie had amazing chemistry. I you could tell her that you so, guys really liked each other so much. Yeah. She is wonderful, and we make each other laugh just by looking at each other. I mean, it's really bad. There were times where we had to like, <laughs> like you know, when people get uncomfortable, like the laughing has gone on too long, and the director's mm. like, "All right, guys, you know, like that. <laughs> that's like an av like a typical day with me and Katie." Um, and my my roommate's gonna be singing with me. She sings every year. Who's you your know, roommate? Uh, her name is Katie Gasser, and I love She's her. She's on the album. Yeah, she is on yes. the album. She's amazing. We do a, a send up to the Judy Garland and uh, Mel Torme uh, 
uh, Christmas chestnuts song. roasting yeah. on an open fire, yep. aka chestnuts roasting <laughs> on an open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually called the Christmas AKA, song. Yeah, the yeah. Christmas song. Um, and then uh, uh, oh my gosh, and Marissa Rosen, who yes. I just like have recently fallen in love with, and we finally have like a budding friendship. I'm like, great, you belt, come <laughs> sing with me. <laughs> she's a crazy belter. Oh my like, god, not crazy. She's not a crazy person, yeah. but, but like a crazy belt. Like, like <laughs> she's I crazy. Mean, she, I, don't um, know you, I don't know if you are Marissa. Maybe yeah. you are. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so she's gonna sing some Kelly Clarkson because I'm just like sing that. Look at you. You just got all. You just line up the divas. I know they're great. Come, come. It's great. And there's only like 20 tickets left, so it will oh. be sold out soon. So last chance, seats, everybody. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. People like Matt Doyle. Oh, that's They like nice. to hear you sing. I, it, I, we have a good time at our shows. They're laid back. They're silly. You know. Nothing, I don't like to take myself too serious. That's usually when I'm like uncomfortable myself. When I look out <laughs> and people are like, I'm like, oh, we should lighten things up. Yeah. So it was fun. Yeah, yeah awesome. I'm excited. So you had a good time doing Heart of Rock and Roll. Yes, I loved it so much. A new, um, a new music, brand new musical. Brand new musical. It's uh, an original story, which I know makes people nervous with jukebox musicals, but it's really sweet and sincere, and yep. I think really finds the right tone. With Huey Lewis, the music was always just meant to be fun and make, meant to make you happy, mm -hmm. and uh, it feels like a John Hughes film, if I could compare mm. it to anything. Mm -hmm. It's got that kind of just silly joy, um, great characters, and a, a, like a really strong heart underneath all the kind of absurdity. Yeah. So I I have really high hopes for it. Cool. I feel really good about it, like I said. But um, you know, we'll see if that was our only run and then we're doing a workshop. That's that's the next step. Cool. Then um then I'll be sad. But I uh I think I think we just need a house. Yeah. I, th <laughs> I think I think it's gonna be a hit. Thank um, you. and how was Huey Lewis himself? He's the best. Yeah. Huey is the funniest guy in the world. He's so sweet and, and he was in rehearsal every day with us and he always had notes. He recently contacted me with some notes just out of nowhere. Oh. And I like picked up the phone and I was like, oh no, <laughs> like, am I getting fired? And he just called to chat about some ideas. He's so excited about it. Wait, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. No, he's the best. I mean, he was, he day one knew everyone's name. He's that guy. And I'll never forget on our closing performance, we went up to like the rooftop of the old globe to mm. have some drinks. And uh, Huey looked out over the balcony and realized that there were a bunch of Huey Lewis fans there. Yeah. And he was like mid conversation with me and he looked down and he was like, I gotta go, I'll, I'll be right back. And he went and said hi to everyone Aww. and came back up and he was like, that's what I have. Like that's, that you never forget that. That's who, that's who made you, you know? Mm. So that was so sweet. He's a good, good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Any songs surprise you? Huey Lewis hits? Because, oh, and actually, God. I didn't know a couple of the songs. Yeah. Like, it's sort of a mix we, of... No, we take some, we go into some like B-sides there. Yeah. Um, but that's what's kind of brilliant about the musical. I think a lot of times you see shows where songs are really shoehorned into it. Yeah. And it, it's... Uh, it's not like that because uh, Brian Yusufer, our brilliant arranger, yeah. um, decided to really look at the entire library and just... Uh, uh, dissect these songs and rearrange them in a way that felt natural and moved the plot forward and they really feel narrative and it's mm -hmm. um yeah there's a few songs in there like I didn't know there's a song that opens a show called Walking on the Thin Line and mm -hmm. I always thought it was like a nice bop you know and Huey was like don't smile during that song it's about Vietnam I was like oh my god I didn't oh. know that <laughs> very helpful thank you yeah Good um, note, I Huey. know I know and it's like this beautiful <laughs> song about Vietnam and I was like oh now I get it thank you like day wow. one yeah wow no um no, the amazing. songs are fantastic I I I love the score, and it feels yeah. like a score. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm excited for it. Yeah, me too. Uh, so, it, does does spreading Christmas joy come natural to you? Are you in the Christmas spirit? I mean, anyone who follows you on Twitter might not no. might not think holiday joy. I don't. Not, uh, I don't you think have a I lot spread, to say. I have a lot to say. I know, but I love that. I I'm love really that. political. Yes. And um and. I'm blunt, and I've always said that, but I, I have a hard time uh, not uh, sharing my opinions. There's not a lot of joy necessarily no, out no. there right now. There's not a lot of joy out there right now. So I will say, like, with everything that I'm doing, I try to, tr I, I'm finding the joy in uh, creative outlets right now, you okay. know. Heart of Rock and Roll was very silly, and this will be a, a fun night. And I like Christmas because I think I typically am a very, like, <laughs> I don't know, anxious and and kind of depressive person. So, like, when the Christmas songs come on, I'm like, holiday cheer, come on! <laughs> like, bring it on! Right. <laughs> yeah, so, right. yeah. What's going on with your uh, your, comic, your your other life? And my other life, your writing yeah. Life. I know, I'm in a third season of my comic, Dense, which is on Webtoon. Mm -hmm. We have, like, over 10 million reads on it at this point. Amazing. It's a total, like, little internet hit. Um, 
And I love I love Webtoon. If you guys don't know what it is, it's webtoon.com. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you ever walk by Line in Times Square, that big green store, it's a Korean company. That's who I work for. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's them. that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, they, they flash dense one day on their like billboard out oh. there. Yeah, I was like, oh my, I made Times Square, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Through dense. Um, yeah, Amazing. so it's it's been this little hit, and it's my side gig and yeah. yeah I have to go right tonight so yeah and you do that with who I do it with uh, my best friend Beth Bears who's now on The Neighborhood on yeah, CBS right, yeah right. she just she you was know, a broke girl she not, was a two right, broke girl and right. now she just jumped into a new hit show we've known each other since we were 13 and been attached to the hip since and, and then you guys should do something on Broadway together I would really like that what would that be oh we've talked about a few things I don't Ugh, I don't know. Okay. I mean, yeah, something funny. She's something funny. new. That's something, the easy answer. Something new. When you don't have an answer, that's what yeah, you have to say. Something new. We want somebody to write us something. I know. Yeah. <sighs> Damn. I wish I had an answer. It's oh, all right. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> time. We've talked uh, about hey, a lot. Hey, Caitlin. Yes. What are the people saying? Oh, the people have a lot of questions. Oh. So, Alexandra would like to know, which show that you've done has influenced or changed your career the most and oh why? Oh, my gosh. Deep question. Starting off early. I will say it without getting too deep and weepy. Um, I, West Side Story at Paper Mill. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there was just a nice, nice period of time there where I not even in a horrible way, was just questioning if this is really what I wanted to yeah. do. And Westside came around when I was being very, very resistant to mm -hmm. kind of continuing my theater career. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. working a lot of other things, like Dance the yeah. Comic. And um, and I just was so, so blown away by that piece and, and working on it every night. And I was like, oh, no matter what, this has to continue to yeah. be a part of my life. So absolutely, that would cool. be... That would be my answer. Doc was in that one. Doc was in that version. <laughs> yeah, that was Doc. He was great. Uh, Hannah wants to know, what was the most exciting part about being in the heart of rock and roll? Oh, my gosh. Working with Huey Lewis. Come on. That was amazing. Every single day. He was my neighbor growing up in California. Um, when I, like, moved to California in middle school, um, he lived, like, next door. And... And what do you he, mean next door? Like next door. I'm not even joking. <laughs> and in a town of like 2,000 people. And I, so I used to see him like ordering like meat at the grocery store counter and everything. Did you ever meet him? We never met. Okay. And I was cast in his show and I like walked up to him on the first day of rehearsals and it was like 87 Laurel Grove, Ross, California. He was like, what the hell? That's yeah. crazy. I know. I know. So uh, I, I love working with Huey. He was awesome. Was he a good neighbor? He was a great name. Yeah. yeah. My okay. uh we had this my his daughter and I had the same SAT tutor. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Love Full it. Full circle. Fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> um we can do let's do one more question. And this is a fun one. So Kurt wants to know oh wait, no, sorry. Hannah wants to know yeah. what is your favorite show tune? Of all time. Oh, Wait, Kurt just God. went to Hannah quicker than Doc I went know. to Valentine. I'm so sorry. That was such a gender was, swap no so worries. quick. Oh, gosh. Favorite show tune of all time? Maria. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Oh, that's, <laughs> like, so, that's so boring. Yeah, another West Side Story. Oh, no. I don't even, like, it's not even like I'm like, I'm the perfect Tony. I just think it's the perfect show. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What I have a quick question. What, when you went into Book of Mormon, you were yeah. in Book of Mormon for how long? A year. Yeah, yeah. you, you like did a year and two months. Yeah. yeah, a year and two months. Was that scary to go into that show? It was terrifying. To, to, I was to following. know that you were. Get, yeah. Who were you following? I was following. Well, Nick Rouleau had been there for a few months, so I was right. going in right after him. But he was right. going to Chicago, and I was friends with Andrew, and Rattles. never expected to go into that show, yeah. like at all. And and Andrew, I don't know. I text Andrew, and I was like, I think I'm replacing you, and he's. This is strange, you know? Right. So that was so, like, it was not on my radar uh -huh. in any way, shape, or form. And all of a sudden, I, you know. Was, was it nice to get laughs? Yeah. To hear, like, to yes. hear, like I'm funny. People are laughing. Yeah. I think it was the first time that I, I did broad comedy like that. Like, yeah. I had done the Bye Bye Birdie revival. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, was, yeah. Was, but, you know, that yeah. happened. Um, and But it was right after War Horse. So I was, you know, screaming right. and dying every night in mm -hmm. uh, a World War One piece and crying. And then I was like, you know what? I think running around the stage and being an idiot will be great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cool. awesome. Uh, so you will be an idiot again yes. on December 10th. <laughs> Yay! In an ugly Christmas sweater, yep. TBD. Yeah. And everyone, go buy your Christmas sweaters Come and by. go see Matt Doyle colon. I like punctu proper punctuation. Make the season bright at Feinstein slash. 54 below. Good. Uh, doors open at five. There's only 20 tickets left apparently. Yeah. So scoop them up. They're flying. Maybe I'll see you there. 
And uh, thank you for coming by. Thank you. I can't wait. Thank you for I can't wait me. to hear the Christmas cheer. But get the album, Woo. too. Oh, yeah. Get the album. It's on iTunes and Spotify and all that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. You can listen to us in a podcast form by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. We talk to Carrie Apima, the woman behind One Woman's Sex in the City.